The inspiration for the Unicorn Road came to me about three or four years ago, at about the time when my earlier novel, The Conjurer's Bird, was being published. I was casting around for ideas for what to write next when I came across an article about an elderly Chinese woman who had died and she, it was considered newsworthy because she was widely held to be one of the last traditional users of a, a mysterious women's only language that for many centuries existed in China. I was inspired by what I've read about this language and the research I did into this language to imagine how it would affect that community of women who were using the language to communicate amongst themselves if a, a stranger arrived in their midst, a man who was able to decipher it. And that gave me the starting point for the Unicorn Road. The Unicorn Road tells the story of an expedition from the West set in, a, in a, a medieval time where they knew very little about what lay beyond their immediate borders. And this expedition arrives in a country that is completely foreign to them. And their interpreter then begins to notice as they travel messages scrawled on walls by the roadside that disappear almost as soon as they've been put up and they're in characters in, in a language he doesn't recognise. It tells how Ben becomes fascinated with these messages and begins to uncover a mystery, a, uh, uh, a story of a woman who is travelling a little ahead of them on the same road on the way to the imperial court to be married. And as Ben translates and deciphers the messages she's leaving, he realises the danger that both she and they are travelling into. The Unicorn Road was a, a challenging book to write. I enjoyed writing about language and the uses of language in the different characters. I also enjoyed the combining of the different storylines. It was challenging and often painful to work on, but overall very enjoyable, and I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I have enjoyed working on it. Thank you.